I'm telling you, this is the most delicious chili that you will put in your mouth. Even Graham likes it. Not even Graham, especially Graham likes it. Even Abby eats it. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown some ground beef. Now, I think this is a pound and a half, but you can do whatever you want. It's, I'm making a big pot. You're gonna remove the ground beef and obviously drain the grease. Next, we're gonna put in some sausage. Any kind of smoked sausage you can find in the hot dog section, but beef or pork is gonna be better because we want it to release some of those juicy meat greases that are gonna come out of the sausage. Now here's the secret ingredient. This is leftover brisket. Brisket is Stephen Furtick's favorite thing. And we order it all the time from different local barbecue restaurants. I also have a recipe that's super easy that you can make your own brisket in the crock pot. It's delicious. Now, you wanna get the sausage and the brisket browning. You really want it to release those flavors and get some grease in the bottom. Then you're gonna start adding in some tomato sauce and some water. And then my other secret ingredient, Rotel. Now, I am going to blend mine up with an immersion blender because like I said, the people in my family don't like chunks of tomatoes. Now, you're gonna add back in your ground beef, let this start warming up, and let's add some spices. Salt, then we've got onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, lots of chili powder, cumin, decent amount of cumin in there, ground black pepper, stir this up, let it get bubbly, and then you're gonna throw in one can of pinto beans. That's it. Let it cook, let it simmer, top it with some sour cream, some freshly shredded cheese, and some chopped up green onions. Let me know what your secret ingredient is to your chili. No need in keeping secrets from each other. And don't forget to click the link for my brisket recipe. And now you've got two recipes that you can make this week. Hope you enjoy.